Hey guys, Strike Plays here. Welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be playing some more Overwatch, and it is very, very cool. So let's just get into it. Um, we're just we're actually going to be doing a tips and tricks video for uh, McCree today because you know I I think I feel like I've been playing a lot of McCree recently. And he's he's just he's super cool. Um, justice ain't gonna dispense itself, you know. Um, you know, justice ain't going to dispense itself. So let's just go and select him right here. And um, one tip is to strafe left and right, left and right, left and right. Uh, I call, me and Lone Hawk um, both call it the ADAD -A strafe and the ADAD -A -D strafe is very extremely extremely cool so I'm just gonna make it so you don't get any feedback like where you can hear the TV and something else so let's get into this um, so when you're shooting you want to kind of do a little strafe and it makes you a harder to hit target um, but it also keeps you being accurate you understand if you move like this, you're still being accurate. Your crosshair is still on your target. But, you know, you're still strafing, which makes it harder for, like, a good Widowmaker to kill you and just snipe you like that. And I could show you. I'm not I'm not horrible as Widowmaker, but I'm not good either. Um, <laughs> uh, we're using Audacity today, and I'm going to try to see how that works out for me. So yeah, um, if you like, let me bring up Widowmaker or Anna. So if you have someone with a scope like Widowmaker, right? See how easy it is to hit this just this target that's just standing still, right? I totally just mess them up, and even if they're just moving, it's really easy to hit everyone. But if they were to start strafing and stuff like um I could show you but if they were to start strafing um like the ADAD stra strafe jumping every once in a while it would be really it would be a lot harder to hit them um and I realized that players in Overwatch do have unpredictable movements cuz they're not AI right um but you know if you understand what I'm saying it should be it should be super hard to um hit a target or at least it shouldn't be super hard for you to hit a target but for the enemy to hit you it would be hard and I know this is like all convoluted and it sounds weird but it's alright because I'm amazing um so yeah um another tip for McCree is aside from strafing uh, and you know the obvious always hit the headshots is that if you're going to try to take down a tank, right? Let's just pretend that this robot is a tank. And they don't see you, but you see them. They're about to turn around. Fan the hammer, right? Well, if I was to do that again, roll, I'm instantly reloaded. So, if you roll and then reload, it actually gives you um, a full clip again. So, watch. I empty out my clip. Couple ammo. Two. Alright, we'll give us one shot. Now look at that, the, the ammo, right? It's down at the bottom right corner. And we just roll. Couple ammo. We have all six shots again. So it's really good for murdering tanks. So, like, if you have a tank, you go flashbang, fan the hammer, roll, fan the hammer. And that's, um, it kind of it takes a lot, out a lot of different tanks. Um, not Roadhog, I don't think. Um, you probably could take out Roadhog if you really wanted to, but it would probably take some snipes. The McCree snipes. Um, another good one. Another good tip, I feel bad, is using a high noon, uh, to zone off areas. Like, even the pro players, if you're, if you're only gonna get, like, one or two kills from, um, from Deadeye, well, that's really all you need. 
Um, because even the pro players um, just use that to zone off areas. If you don't know what zoning off is, it's when basically you have an area and you just make sure that no one will get in there. Um, whether it be by fear or um, like like using your ultimate in one area. Even if it won't kill anyone. Um, it's still really good to just zone off. Like you just hear, it's Halloween. And then there, there's no one even there, right? Except for in this instance. Um, but even if there was no one there, no, they wouldn't go through because they don't want to die. Um, I think it was Team. It was Cloud Nine that did that uh, every once in a while when they played McCree. Um, so yeah, tips from the pros, guys. Um, wow, this is <laughs> not very good. I feel bad, but um, yeah, I think that will be it for the day. Except for my last tip, which is don't leave your door open so flies don't get on your TV. That's what's going on. Um, so yeah, thanks you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Just